Hey everyone, welcome back to our Unity tutorial series. Today, we are diving into the exciting world of torrent creation in Unity. In part 1, we covered the basics of Unity Editor and now we will be building our very own landscape. So let's get started. First, let's create a new project. Click on New Project, select 3D Template and give your project a name. Then click create project. Wait for the editor to load your new project. Now let's create a new terrain object which will be the base for our landscape. To create a terrain Go to the drop down menu, game object, then 3D object and then select terrain. A large flat plane will appear in your scene which adds a terrain to your project. This plane is our terrain. It should be selected in your hierarchy window. At this point, you can give it an appropriate name. For this project, we will leave it as terrain. However, it is good practice to give your game object appropriate names. If the terrain is not selected, you can simply select it by clicking on its name in the hierarchy. When selected, its properties are shown in the inspector. With our terrain in place, let's explore the tools Unity provides to shape and detail it. Unity offers several tools to sculpt your terrain. Let's go over the basics. Create neighbor terrain. Create small terrain around the current one. Paint terrain. Used to manipulate the terrain and texture to the terrain. Paint trees. Used to paint trees onto the terrain. Paint detail. Used to paint details such as rocks, flowers, plants, etc. And settings. Settings for drawing the terrain. If you click on the Paint Terrain button, you will see a drop-down menu. This drop-down menu gives you access to several terrain features. First off, Raise and Lower Terrain. This tool allows you to raise and lower the terrain. You can adjust the brush size capacity to control how much terrain is affected. Second one, Paint Texture. This tool lets you apply texture to your terrain. Smooth Height. After saving your terrain, use smooth height to smooth out rough edges which helps to create a more realistic landscape. Now let's set up our terrain. Ensure that the terrain is selected in the hierarchy. Feel free to experiment with this tool to create a unique landscape. The more you practice, the better you will get at sculpting. First, we want to check the size of the terrain. Select the Terrain Settings tool from the Terrain Inspector. Check the terrain width and length is set to 1000. If the terrain is not this size, enter the value and press Enter key after typing. Next, we want to rise the height of our ground so that we can create a seabed that will be at the height 0. Select the Paint Terrain tool from the Terrain Inspector. In the drop down menu below, the toolbar select the set height. Enter 30 in the height text box and click the flatten tile button. When you click the flatten tile button, your terrain should be raised up 30 units. In inspector, you can go to the drop down menu below and terrain toolbar select the raise or lower terrain option. Select the second brush in your palette and set its brush size to 100. Set opacity to 75. Then select the second brush in the brush list. Change your scene view to a drop down view using the view gizmo. Click the y axis on the view gizmo to change to top view. You should have a top down view of the terrain. Using the shift key to lower height, paint around the outline of the terrain to create a coastline. If you wish, you can now go over to the island and create hills using the raise and lower terrain tool. 
you can also create values using shift and the raise and lower torrent tool for example to create a hill you simply make sure the raise or lower torrent option is selected then left click on the mouse button over the terrain you can drag the mouse while still left clicking the mouse to create hills and mountain ranges Now that we have our terrain shaped, let's add some texture to our terrain to make it more realistic. Texture is simply an image. We apply it to the surface of the terrain to make the terrain more interesting and realistic. First, let's import some assets. We will add texture from the standard assets. These texture are located within your assets folder. You don't need to navigate to them. However, if you want to find texture, go to project window, then standard assets folder, environment, current assets, and surface texture. First, ensure that the terrain is selected in the hierarchy. Select the paint terrain tool from the terrain inspector. In the drop down menu, select Paint Texture option. To add texture, click on Edit Terrain Layer button and select Create Layer. A Select Texture window will appear. Search for the texture, Grand Seal Elvedo and double click on it. The terrain layer should be added. It will cover all the terrain with grass texture. Next, we will add two more texture. These texture need to be painted onto the terrain manually. Repeat the same process as before to create two further texture layer. You need to create texture layer with following texture. Grass Rocky Albedo and San Albedo. Your terrain layer section should look like mine. We will now add some sand to the edge of the island we are creating. Select the texture called San Alvedo in the Terrain Layer section. Do this by clicking on it once. Select the second brush in the brush section in the Terrain Layer section of the Paint Texture in the Terrain component. Set the brush size to 60 and opacity to 50. Now, paint around the coast of the island. You do this by clicking the left mouse button on the terrain. You can use the side or top view of the terrain. Now select the texture called Grass Rocky Albedo in the terrain layer section. Do this by clicking it once. Select the second brush in the brush section in the terrain layer. Set the brush size to 50 and opacity to 30. Now paint over the hilly area. Now let's add some trees and vegetation to bring our scene to life. Select the Paint Tree tool from the inspector. First, click on Edit Trees. Then, select Add Trees from the drop-down list. An Add Tree dialog window will appear. Click on the Circle Selection button next to the Tree Prefabs option. In the Select Game Object window, choose Palm Desktop by double-clicking on it. Then, click Add button in the Add Tree window. Click the Palm Desktop Tree in the Tree Palettes. Set the Brush Size to 200 and Tree Density to 30. Use Single Left Click to place trees around the coast of the island.
Now let's add some grass to our scene as well. Select the paint detail section of the terrain script component. First click edit details and select add grass texture from the drop down menu. In the add grass dialog click on the circle selection button next to detail texture option. In the asset selection window, choose the grass foundation Alvedo Alpha texture by double clicking on it. Now in the add grass texture dialog window, leave the minimum and maximum height and width value as default. Select billboard, set healthy and dry grass to similar shades of green. Click the add button to add the grass texture to your palette. Click on the assets in the details palette. Select the 6th brush along the top in the brushes section. Set the brush size to 100, opacity to 0.1 and target strength to 0.3. Left click on the mouse button on the terrain to add some grass. Now let's also add water to our scene. In the project window, go to the folder Standard Assets, Environment, Water Basics and Prefabs. Drag the Water Basics Day System prefab into the scene view. Go to the hierarchy and select Water for Advanced. In the inspector, set the transform component position to 500, 2 and 500. Set the scale of X and Z to 4000. Adding vegetation can enhance the realism of your environment. So take your time to get it just right. And there you have it, you have just created your first terrain in Unity. That's it for today's tutorial on creating and customizing terrain in Unity. We have covered the basics from sculpting the terrain to adding vegetation. I hope you are feeling inspired to create your own landscape. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and we will see you in next video.